Pietro Consagra is one of the key players in international modern sculpture from the second half of the 20th century. He started creating his first abstract sculptures in 1947 in a relationship with the international avant-garde milieu and always looking at this international setting, he conceived his revolutionary idea of scultura frontale, frontal sculpture. This exhibition is devoted to the first 20 years of his career. The first room features key examples of the birth and first development of frontal sculpture from his early totemic pieces from the late 40s where he empties the plastic form into shapes unfolding in space to his early colloquy, colloquies which he conceives as a dialogue among different elements of sculptures which mirrors the dialogue between human beings or between the viewer and the work and the space. Consagra's frontal sculpture earned him many honors and many American museums and collectors bought his work, starting with Peggy Guggenheim, who already in 1949 acquired a seminal piece which she later donated to the New Orleans Museum of Art. Later on, big American collectors such as Joseph Hirshhorn or Arnold Maremont uh, got interested and collected Consagra's work until the Grand Premio per la Scultura, Grand Prize for Sculpture at the Venice Biennale in 1960. The second room features uh, colored works from the 1960s that are a kind of liberation from this ideological commitment that the early pieces had into freer unfolding in space, thinner works and more colored solutions. Giardini, piani sospesi, ferri trasparenti, piani appesi and inventario, which is a kind of consagra's response to American minimalism of primary structures by choosing uh, archetypes of geometry and uh, uh, twisting them in unexpected ways. A special focus is devoted to Consagra's Welcome to Italy project with uh, photographs that he took already from 1964 of stone bollards, a typical presence of Italian cities interpreting them as expressions of uh, power and identity of each of these uh, cities. He then uh, translated them into a marble edition of different shapes and colors and into a booklet, which is reissued on the occasion of the exhibition, featuring these photographs and the text that he devoted to this uh, uh, typical Italian presence.